Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to manage automatic transfers in Odoo 16 accounting module. Automatic transfer is a process of transferring the amount from one account to another account. With the help of Odoo 16 accounting module, you can manage the automatic transfer by setting the origin account and you can send or transfer the amount from one account to multiple account or to single account. So let's say an example. You can consider an organization and an organization will have different shareholders and each shareholders will be investing different amount in an organization over different period of time. So uh, each of the shareholders will be receiving an amount from the organization in percentage. So we can manage the transferring of amount from one account that is from the company account to the uh, stakeholders or shareholders account. So let's check how to manage the automatic transfers in Odo 16 accounting module. So let's check how to manage automatic transfers in Odo 16 accounting module. You can choose the accounting module and can manage the automatic transfers under accounting tab. So choose automatic transfers. So here we can see different automatic transfers with the details of name, start date, stop date and frequency. So if you want to create a new automatic transfer, you can click on new button and here you can give the description that is name of the automatic transfer and you can set the period and frequency that is half should the automatic transfer takes place and on what period should the automatic transfer should happen. Now you can also set the journal. So order provides different journals like miscellaneous operation, exchange difference, cash basis taxes, IFRS automatic transfers. So currently, we can set the automatic transfer as miscellaneous, uh, I mean the journal as miscellaneous operation. You can also set the origin account and automated transfer account, that is the destination account, so that the money will be transferring from the origin account to the destination account. The destination account can be either single or multiple. So, we need to uh, choose an account. So for that, go to the charts of accounts and search for bank. So the money will be moving from the origin account that is bank to the destination account that is shareholders account. So here we can see an account uh, with the account name as bank and the type as bank and cash. And if you want to see the bank balance or the account balance, you can click on setup so that uh, this shows the balance of the account. Now let's search for the destination account. So let the destination account be uh, shareholders account so here we can see the account name and type uh, and now let's create an automatic transfers for that you can click on accounting and search automatic transfers and click on new you can give the name of account as revenue of shareholder and you can set the period so I'm letting the period to be December 31st so we are uh, calculating the automatic transfers for one year and setting the frequency as monthly. And here you can choose the origin account and automated uh, transfer that is the destination account. So letting the origin account to be bank with the type as bank and cash. So the money will be moving from the bank account to the uh, destination account that is shareholders account. So in order to add the shareholders account, you can click on add a line and here we can set the percentage of amount that to be transferred and we can uh, choose the account that is shareholder account, the account that we have created. Okay. Now, uh, we can either add multiple uh, account uh, as destination. So let me save the uh, automatic transfers. So once you save the automatic transfers, Odo will trigger a button called activate. And when you click on activate button, the state of disabled will be moving uh, to the running state. Now we need to calculate uh, the transfers. So in order to calculate the transfer, you can click on compute transfers so that you can see that four transfers has created. We have set the period as uh, uh, from January to December, but only four transfers has created. This is because uh, from the year uh, 2023, we can see that only four months has left. So we can only do transfers for uh, the month January, February, March and April. So when you click on the four transfers here, you can see that three percentage has directed from the account. Uh, like in the month of uh, January, uh, 142 has directed 
and in the month of february an amount of 150 has directed and from in the month of march uh, and in the month of april also 150 is directed so uh, we can see we have set an amount uh, uh, to direct that is uh, from the uh, bank account three percentage of money is moved to the shareholders account in each month now uh, these transfers are in prep state so when you click once you click on post you can see that the money will be moving to the shareholders account so under journal items you can see that uh, as uh, the money is moving to the shareholders account uh, the asset increases in shareholders account so it will be reflected in the debit side in case of bank three percentage of amount is moving out of the bank so that it will be shown in the credit side so let's pause uh, the rest of the transfers so you can click on the transfers and post all the transfers so once you complete the transfers you can see the amount will be credited in the shareholders side so let me post all the transfers now when you go back to the charts of account and you can search for shareholders and i mean shareholders account and click on setup so here you can see that the uh, amount is automatically transferred to the shareholders account um, for the four months that is we have created a uh, four transfers uh, the amount of four transfers has moved once you uh, pause the journal entries so this is how odo manage the automatic transfers by setting up automatic transfers in Odo 16 accounting module, you can reduce the workload of transferring the amount from one account to another account. So thank you for watching the video.